So as I said, uh, we've got three expert presenters today. We have me who did about two hours of modern research. And we've got... Ella. Ella Moss. So, she's Australian. Walking pool! Wow. Yeah, she, she thinks she's famous, but it's not true. Um, she, she showed up at Nerd Night uh, at about 6.45 today, never uh, ever hearing of Nerd Night. And uh, her surprise was that she's got to give a presentation to all of you. That's right. So, um, obviously she, could, she was unable to prepare anything. So, uh, I took the liberty of preparing a very brief, uh, very, like six, well, like ten slide long presentation that she's now been feverishly studying for the last hour. And she's got to, she, she's got to wait. I gave her some notes, but there you go, the notes, man. She's, she's going without a net here. So, we actually did this presentation in her tecular, but just to do a little compare and contrast here, we're making her try it this time. So, what we're going to do here is, um, just, we need your support here. She's very nervous. She's literally been studying for the last hour uh, during the presentation. She's never seen this before until like an hour ago. So, um, just give her your support, and we're going to learn a little bit about uh, the hotness of pepper. So, big round of applause. Extremes found in nature, the reference to spice and hotness. So, in nature, there are many examples of absolutes, of things that cannot be exceeded. One of these is terminal velocity, uh, as evidenced by, I believe it's Tom Petty. <laughs> Do you remember in Jerry Maguire before Tom Cruise, in that era before he got Kate Holmes as his beard and he was in the car <laughs> and he was singing uh, the free falling song? That's uh, so terminal velocity is an example of absolutes. There we go. And terminal velocity, of course, the speed of that is 9.81 meters per second squared. Another example of an absolute is absolute zero. <laughs> it is impossible to get cold with an absolute zero because, as I recall from science, the uh, particles stop moving, so you can't get any colder. And absolute zero is minus 273.15 degrees or zero degrees Kelvin. <laughs> Which doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> um, yeah, I started being into drama. Right? Um, now, I want to move on to spice and hotness. One other example of an absolute comes in the form of the Naga or your Logia. I'm going to refer to it as a ghost ever. Um, Look at it there. This is another example of extremes because this is the hottest you can get uh, when it comes to spices. There's something called the Scoville scale. This was invented by Wilbur Will Scoville, who was a chemist, and uh, by the looks of that haircut, quite the ladies' man, and the <laughs> start is quite good too. <laughs> Um, I don't know, he'd probably fit in in Williamsburg, but way back, way back in 1912, he invented this scale as a way to measure the hotness of chili peppers. And uh, the way that the peppers were measured was by the amount of capsation that was in the peppers, which is what actually makes the peppers spicy. Capsation! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <Announced> it right. <laughs> this is what capsation looks like. It's a confound or something. <laughs> it's got red and blue. Yeah. What can you explain it? This is the scale itself. As you can see, it goes from the bottom, we have the very innocent sweet bells. They have zero hotness, they won't have a fly. Uh, all the way up to the top, which is... The top of it is uh, one million. So that's the, the highest you can get when you're talking about natural spices. Beyond that is unnatural spices, but we will come to that in a minute. So we have the bell pepper, this is a very innocent thing, you find it, you know, Taco Bell, Chipotle, I don't know, I don't know it's Chipotle or Tropopic, whatever, that place. This is the same thing. Yeah. So the bell pepper has absolutely zero scope of units, it will not hurt you, there is absolutely no spice involved in the bell pepper, they're completely innocent. Then we move on to peppers such as the jalapeno, now you might think that these are hot, 
but they are only rated at 3,500 Scoville units. So that's very small when you consider that their maximum is 1 million. We move along to the Habanero, which is getting quite dangerous. It's, but still, it, it doesn't rate that high. It's only 200,000 to 350,000 Scoville units. So then we move along to the Guatemalan. <laughs> saw a talking dog and then realized that Marge was his soulmate. But if it did exist, it would probably rank somewhere above the habanero on the uh, Scoville scale. As you can see, Chief Clancy Wiggum had to use a, some sort of implement in order to handle it. <laughs> so no naturally occurring spice can actually exceed one million Scoville units. Some unnatural spices can, such as... No, that's another spice, don't worry. Um, but in terms of natural peppers, uh, the ghost pepper comes very close. It's one million Scoville units, which is the very top of the spice scale. It's actually found in Indonesia and in India. You can use it to, to cure uh, stomach ailments. So screw the pepto -bismol. If you've got some kind of pathogen lurking around in your gutty works, then uh, perhaps you should <laughs> ingest a ghost pepper and um, it will kill the pathogens and possibly you as you switch it out. <laughs> it's also used to keep elephants away from crops by spraying it on the fences. Um, yeah, woo, elephants. Um, I, I don't know if elephants can jump, but I'm sure they would if they encountered this spice. I was speaking before about unnatural spices. Pepper spray, which is used by the cops, um, I don't know if it's used in this country, but pepper spray um, sprays at. Who's gun? I'm from Australia, I don't know what guns are. Um, <laughs> pepper spray rates at yeah, uh, 2.5 million units. So there's this book actually called um, New Jack. It's about this guy who worked in Sing Sing for a year, undercover, he was a journalist, and he was this passage in it where he describes being exposed to pepper spray for the first time. And he describes this, like these ropes of mucus spewing from your mouth and your nose, and it just, it seems so horrific. So don't trust the Matt Damon lookalike who's just smiling there. <laughs> it really is horrific to be sprayed with 2.5 million units of, um, I can't remember the guy's name, but that scale. Yeah, very well, yeah. It's <laughs> interactive. So if you want to try the hottest pepper ever, where can you go? In New York, you can visit the Brick Lane Curry House on 6th Street. Brick Lane named of course after the uh, Brick Lane in London, where all the curry houses are. A curry here, a fowl curry, has the ghost pepper in it, so you'll be able to expose yourself to the 100 scope units. And if you do this, if you actually manage to complete the task and scrape the bowl, then you get a certificate, so win-win, <laughs> really. Uh, I don't know if you can read it, but it says that uh, this document bears testament to the fact that Emily Coe, I don't know who that is, but she demonstrated extraordinary courage and rather dubious judgment, <laughs> risking life, limb, and dignity against the insurmountable doll, earning a free beer and the coveted title of Foul Curry Monster. So a certificate and a free beer and uh, glory and respect of your peers. Phew. That's about it. And if you were on the couch back and I survived this, we're only having to spell one last week. So thank you.